In today's game in Los Angeles between the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels, there was a couple things that happened worth noting. One is that the Los Angeles Angels were officially eliminated from playoff contention. At the beginning of the year, they were actually neck and neck with the Astros for the first spot in the AL West, up until about 30-35 games, after which they dropped off quite hard. We'll get into that in a moment. And the second thing worth noting is that Carlos Santana hit not one, but two home runs. And not just that, but he hit one home run righty and one home run lefty. And before we get any further, I just want to say thank you for the support. We're now past 500 subscribers on a road to 1,000. So please make sure to like this video, subscribe, give it a share, and let's get into it. So the Los Angeles Angels, if we look back in the standings on May 16th, which was uh, 38 games into the season for the Angels, they were 24-14, and 14, and they were tied with the Astros for the AL West lead. If we skip ahead a month to, let's go, June 16th, Moving to June 16th, the Angels were now at 30 and 35. They were 10 games back of the Astros, and they were five games out from a wild card spot. The Angels' sharp decline in May and June was partly due to a 12 game losing streak, after which Joe Madden, the, the manager at the time of the Angels, was then fired. So Mike Trout and Shohei Otani will have to wait yet another year for a shot at the playoffs, and we'll see if Shohei is even an Angel headed into next year. Next year is the last year on Shohei's contract. So the Angels very well might use him as a trade piece this offseason to help rebuild their farm system, which is the last in the MLB. Moving back to the Mariner game, in the top of the fifth inning, the bases were loaded for Carlos Santana against Jose Suarez. Pitch from Suarez. Fly ball, deep left field. Giddy up, baby, giddy up. There it goes, a grand slam by Carlos Santana. This was Santana's 16th home run on the year, and just his second on the year, batting as a righty. With a grand slam, and the Mariners have a 5 nothing lead. And then, in the ninth inning, batting as a lefty. Tags Man. this one. Deep right center field. Look at that baby fly. Goodbye. This was Santana's 17th home run on the year, his 15th as a lefty, and his 13th home run as a Mariner. This made me curious as to how many times in MLB history a switch hitter has homered from both sides of the plate in the same game. It turns out in the American League alone, this is the 209th time that this has happened. In the National League, there's an additional 146 times that this has had happened. And this is also Carlos Santana's sixth time where he homered from both sides of the plate in the same game, his last time coming back in 2017. Carlos Santana is also the fifth player in Mariners history to homer from both sides of the plate and in the same game, the last time coming from Justin Smoke back in 2012. An interesting stat, among teams with most 20-plus home run hitters, the Mariners are tied for third behind the Blue Jays and Dodgers and tied with the Braves, Yankees, Astros, and Rangers with four players that have 20 or more home runs. The Mariners got the win today, 9-1, to backed by Carlos Santana and Ty France home runs which puts the Mariners now in the third wildcard spot, four and a half games currently ahead of the Baltimore Orioles, one game back of the Tampa Bay Rays, and one and a half games back of the Toronto Blue Jays. The Mariners now will head to Oakland for three games and then head to Kansas City for three games before an off day, and then headed back to Seattle for a three-game series against the Rangers. And then checking the MLB remaining strength of schedule, the Mariners still have the most favorable schedule remaining, with six games coming against the A's, four against the Tigers, another three against the Royals, and three against the Rangers. If you haven't already voted on the next player profile video, head to my community tab on my YouTube page. I want to do a player profile video for someone in the bullpen. Go figure, Andres Munoz is currently in the lead. And also go check out the player profile videos. I'll put a link to that playlist right here. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, give it a share, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye zone, and don't forget it. Yeah.